everyone, so I wanted to make a video because ever since I took my break from working and doing brows, um, I've gotten, I feel a little guilty because I've kind of left some of you guys hanging who maybe don't feel so confident to tweeze your own brows at home or go somewhere else, and I hate it for you guys because I know my service is way different than what you would get somewhere else. So I hate to send you, after we worked all that time on your brows, to someone who might, you know, butcher your brows or just not give you the ultimate service for your eyebrow shape and what you are trying to achieve. What I want to do today is I want to demonstrate on myself how I would do a basic shaping and just a basic cleanup, nothing too deep into the brow. And this is going to keep your brow maintained for a good period of time. Now, you, some of you who have a lot of peach fuzz or some of you who have, um, you know, just really difficult, unruly eyebrows may feel like, you know, if you get, if you don't stay on your schedule of maintaining on your own, you're going to need to go to someone else because you're just going to be overwhelmed. Or those peach fuzz people, you need to actually go in and wax sometimes, which if you don't feel comfortable waxing, I don't blame you. It is a lot harder, it's a lot more difficult, and you take a lot more hair at one time. For those of you who have what I call like special eyebrows, or you have like, they grow a certain way, They're, every brow is different. So your eyebrows are going to be different than my eyebrows. I'm going to kind of keep it broad and keep it cover all the bases for most people, but there are going to be some people who, you know, your eyebrows do something funky, or you might need to tweak what I do for you. So I'll try to cover those, but if you have any specific questions for me, just message me, those of you that have my number, um, text me, whatever, and I can tell you, okay, I did this in the video, but I know your eyebrows, so you do this or don't do this or however you just need to change it for you. So the first thing we want to get into is tools. Um, for just cleaning up, it doesn't matter what brand your tweezers are. It doesn't matter what you know size they are. What matters is if they're slanted. I personally love Tweezerman. This is what I use all the time, so that's what I recommend. You can get them at Sally's, I believe. You can get them at a lot of places. I don't think you can get them at Walmart. Maybe you can. I'm not sure. But you can order them on Amazon. They have a lifetime guarantee. And if they break or dull, you can just pay the shipping to send them into Tweezerman and have them sharpened or fixed. So they are more expensive tweezers, but they're worth the money. Don't use pointed tweezers. I don't care how deep a hair is. You shouldn't be using pointed tweezers in order to tweeze your eyebrows. Like, pointed tweezers are for splinters, stuff like that. You, you don't, I can't stress enough, do not use those on your eyebrows. So, the longer ones that I have, which I'll show you these up close, but my longer tweezers, I find work wonderful for everything, um, they can be a little bit hard to grasp on yourself. So I love the mini Tweezerman tweezers that have a slant, they're the exact same, they're just a little bit shorter, because you can really manipulate them in your own hand when you're doing your own eyebrows, especially if you're up close to a mirror or you have a mirror in your hand, you just have this tiny little tweezer that you can, oh sorry, you just have a tiny little tweezer which you can really get full control of. Also, I find the smaller ones really help me get the thick rooted hairs a lot easier than the big ones, and the big ones are great for um, like the tiny blonde hairs. Now, like I said, it's the exact same tweezer head, so they're gonna tweeze the same. Um, I just noticed when I tweeze so many different people that certain tweezers that I have grab certain hairs a little bit better. You just need one pair. Don't go out and buy both. Don't go crazy. Just get the one and they come, you know, in different colors. I have probably a million of these little ones everywhere. 
and you're going to also want a spoolie or a comb. Now, um, a spoolie is just a mascara wand basically, so if you have an old mascara just lying around or if you're about to finish up your mascara, next time instead of throwing it away, keep the wand and wash it off, let it dry, and then you'll have that as your mascara, or as your spoolie for your eyebrows. You have to have something to comb. That is the biggest mistake that people make. You may end up with a bald patch, you may end up with, you know, just a weird shape on one versus the other, so you have to always comb your eyebrows. Um, the other thing is when you get to the trimming part, which we'll cover that, you have to have something to comb with. You cannot trim your eyebrows without a comb. And you cannot trim your eyebrows with large scissors and you cannot brush your eyebrows with some big comb. So you want something that's really going to allow you to comb through your brow so you can see every little hair, every little bald spot, every little imperfection. That way you don't over tweeze or over trim so that you're showing those imperfections more. You can get these little throwaway ones at Sally's. They come in a pack. They're just disposable mascara wands. You can use your old mascara, or you can get a brush um, for filling your eyebrows in, an angled brush. It'll come with a spoolie on the other side. So you won't have, you know, you'll just have one tool to do both, which is good. Um, next thing is scissors. Like I said, don't be using kitchen scissors or crafting scissors to tweet or to trim your brows. Uh, yeah, you're asking for a disaster. Either manicure scissors will work or um, they make like Tweezerman, uh, Sally Hansen, like you can get them where the tweezers are. They make little brow trimming scissors. These are Sally Hansen. These are Tweezerman. They just need to be really, really tiny with a really tiny point so that you can manipulate them on yourself. Now that's gonna be the hardest part. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring you a little bit closer in and we're going to start out. Now for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna use a little white pencil to draw on myself and show you where, um, where I'm gonna be tweezing and lines and things like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw the lines for you. So if you're gonna take a pencil, you wanna angle from the inner corner of the eye straight up, and that's where you're gonna draw your first line. For the tail, you want to do the same thing from the outer corner of the eye. Now, mine slightly angles up. If your tail is longer, just follow your natural shape. For your arch, you wanna measure from the outer iris of the eye, looking straight ahead, and then follow that straight up. Keep in mind, I'm looking in a mirror so it's hard to demonstrate and then for my shape I'm gonna draw a line exactly how I want my shape on the bottom you don't want to tweeze any higher than where you drew this line and fill your eyebrows in too if that helps and then you just want to comb through them in whatever direction the hair grows um, and you can even draw yourself a line on the top if you want Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim first. I'm gonna comb my hair in the direction it grows. So if your brow grows straight up in the front right here, you're gonna brush that straight up with your spoolie and then trim that on top. You can see where my hair transitions and where it starts to grow down. So I'm gonna, in that area, brush the hair down, not up. That's gonna keep my brow looking nice and thick. I'm actually going to be trimming a little bit more of my shape than I would have to tweeze anything. And throughout the tail, you can see I'm gonna brush down. And now I'm going to trim. So what you want to do is you want to take your scissors and you only want to trim that little tiny bit of hair that is overlapping the line that you drew. And when you take your scissors, just be really careful not to trim up into the brow. You want to trim straight across. Now I'll show you in a second, but whenever I do where my arch is, I'm actually going to trim at a slight angle. This is for me because my brow hair grows down. Down, I'm actually going to trim in the shape versus tweeze the shape. If your brow is like this, you want to follow the exact same thing. And then I'm just going to comb again, and if there's anything I missed, trim again. 
The key is to only take a little at a time. It's better to trim too little than too much at once. And then now we're just gonna go ahead and tweeze it underneath. So I'm just gonna take my smaller tweezers and I'm going to take my fingers and pull my skin taut. So you really wanna get a tight grip on the skin, however you do that. I like to just take two fingers when I do this eye and then bring the tweezers in at a slant and you're just gonna slowly start to open and close. And with that, you'll just kind of feel rubbing against the skin and you're gonna take hair with it. Remember that you're tweezing on the line that you drew and anything beneath it. You're not going any higher, otherwise you're going to be taking more hair than you would ideally want. And that is the whole point of drawing this line first, is that it is your guideline. You're not going to tweeze fast to begin with, so just tweeze slowly and get every little hair from the root versus pulling from the tail. That is going to keep your hair from breaking off and it'll give you the cleanest outcome. In this front area, I'm actually just going to raise my brows to keep my skin tight and that should keep me from pinching my skin. But if that's not the case for you, just remember to use your other hand to keep your skin taut. That's the key. When you go throughout the brow, you wanna make sure that you're always adjusting how you hold your tweezers. You never wanna be using the very tip of the point in order to tweeze hair. If you're using the base of the slant, you're really gonna be able to pull everything directly from the root. Now I'm going to tweeze the middle. So where I drew that line and anything in the center, I can tweeze. Um, you just wanna make sure that you're tweezing on that line only. You're not going any closer to the start of your brow. If there's an area here you need to grow in, be very careful not to take too much. Now it's time to trim the front. Just take your spoolie and brush that hair directly straight up and trim straight across. Notice I'm gonna turn the scissors the other direction and trim the very front. Sometimes you have to manipulate the scissors in order to get each hair trimmed um, without going into the eyebrow. And to finish off, I'm just going to tweeze any hair that I have on the top. If you have a lot of hair, then you want to draw yourself a line on the top distinctly showing your shape and you don't want to tweeze anywhere but on that line and above. That's all for the first brow. I'm just gonna speed up now and show you the second brow. Remember your brows are not gonna be identical or symmetrical by any means. You wanna follow each brow and then try to tweak them at the end and make them more alike. But don't get caught up on making them 100% the same. And this would be the finished look. 